everyone, it's Sadie again, intern at the Lehigh Gap Nature Center. Today we are going to be taking a look at something that is very common this time of year, Christmas trees. Every year around this time, around 25 to 30 million Christmas trees are sold in just the United States alone. There are around 20,000 Christmas tree growers in the U.S. Every year, 73 million new Christmas trees are planted. Christmas tree farmers work hard for years to make sure you have the perfect tree to decorate and put presents underneath. We're going to look at the life of your Christmas tree, the life it led before it made it to your house. If the Christmas tree you have in your house is between seven and eight feet tall, that means it's about eight years old. Most Christmas trees grow about one foot per year. So let's go all the way back to the beginning when your Christmas tree was just a tiny seed Christmas tree seeds start by being planted at a nursery where they are taken from a pine cone. The pine cones can be from a variety of different trees. The most common types of Christmas trees are evergreen firs, spruces, and pines. The nursery takes care of the seed and grows it for three to five years until it is ready to be purchased by the tree farm. At this point in its life cycle, the young tree is called a seedling. After the seedling is grown for three to five years, it is purchased by a Christmas tree farm where it will continue its journey to your home. Once it is at the tree farm, farmers carefully plant the seedling in flat, nutrient-rich soil where it is sheltered from the wind and has plenty of sunlight. Trees are typically planted in early spring as this is the best time for the roots to take hold and begin growing in the soil. Many times, cages or fencing are placed around the tree to protect it from hungry deer, mice, or other creatures in the woods. During its time at the farm, the tree is managed to make it grow beautifully. Conifer trees grow one set of horizontal branches a year, called a whorl. If the tree grows too fast, the whorls will be too spaced out, making your tree look bare. To prevent this, farmers trim the trees and sometimes help shape them so they grow to be an appealing size and shape. Shearing promotes the attractive, bushy, full, and cone-shaped Christmas trees that most people search for. Many times, Christmas tree farmers will save and sell the trimmings of their trees in order to make wreaths, garland, or other Christmas decorations. This is a great way to not waste parts of the trees and to recycle them. Christmas trees grow on the farm for somewhere between 6 and 10 years. While the trees are growing on a farm, they put tons of oxygen into the atmosphere. 2.5 acres of Christmas trees produce enough oxygen for 45 people in just one day and there are about 350,000 acres of Christmas trees growing in the U.S. alone. After the Christmas tree has grown to its desired height, it is harvested by farmers and taken to be sold. The trees are wrapped in a baler in order to protect their branches and prevent needles from falling off. The trees are then shipped to markets and stores all over the country. After they are harvested, trees can last for about one month so it's important to make sure the tree you buy is freshly harvested and to make sure it's always in fresh water. When the trees are on the lot, there are always some sparse or sad looking trees that do not get chosen to be taken home. It may seem like a waste to have chopped these trees down for no reason, but most unsold Christmas trees are used for other purposes. Many unsold trees are chopped up and used for mulch and their boughs are used to make wreaths and other Christmas decorations. Another unique way unsold trees are used is for sand dune restoration. In coastal areas that are hit hard by hurricanes, unused Christmas trees can be used to help sand stay in place and begin the rebuilding process of sand dunes. Another way Christmas trees can be used is by dropping them into lakes to improve fish habitats, making nest structures out of them for animals, or feeding them to goats. After your Christmas tree has been in your house and brought holiday cheer, there are many options of ways you can dispose of your tree. You can recycle your tree to be turned into mulch. There are more than 4,000 recycling centers around the country. You can also compost your tree in your yard to use in your garden or just to grow your grass better. If you don't have access to any of these options, a good idea is to contact the seller of your Christmas tree because they may take them back and use them for fertilizer for their currently growing trees. Even if you just put your Christmas tree in the woods and let it decompose, it helps recycle the nutrients in the tree and continue to the carbon and nitrogen cycles. Your Christmas tree led a long, full life before it made it to your house. Once there, it brings holiday cheer and good spirits. It's important to take care of your tree even after you have removed the decorations and taken it down. In order to contribute to a healthy earth, try to find a good way to recycle or dispose of your Christmas tree. Have a happy holiday season. Thank you.